Good morning, Wildcats. This is Mr. Hafner, and I'm going to give you a little speech on Veterans Day. So why do we celebrate Veterans Day? We celebrate Veterans Day on November 11th because it was set aside by President Eisenhower in 1954, and he called it Veterans Day. The day is set aside to honor veterans using the day that World War I ended, November 11th, 1918, at 11 a.m. Remember the Veterans Day phrase? 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Today is that holiday, and today it's set apart to do so. Now, <clears throat> normally we have a Veterans Day assembly in the gym, but due to weather and the COVID situations, the American Legion decided that we were not going to do it today. So we're going to put out a little video for them and still honor them. So again, to our veterans, we say thank you in Gresham. So why do I celebrate Veterans Day? I celebrate Veterans Day because the veterans have given the service to this country so I did not have to. They've bled and died and gave me the ability to be a son, a father, a teacher, a coach, a principal, and a superintendent for all my days have been in peace. I've not had to serve my country because of war. I didn't get drafted. This has been a blessing to me in my life. The veterans have protected me and my family. On Veterans Day, we come together to pay tribute to the men and women who have worn the uniform of the United States Armed Forces, the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, active duty or reservist. This day honors all members of our armed forces, past and present, the various wars that various veterans have served in, our World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, various operations, Desert Storm, Enduring Freedom, and Iraqi Freedom, and others that I'm sure I didn't list. Veterans Day has been set aside to honor more than 25 million living American veterans. Some of these veterans across the country, we pay tribute to those who have risked their lives to preserve our freedom, to pay tribute to their families who have given so much so that they can serve for all of us, and of course to those who have fallen, who are heroes to all of us. Veterans have defended us 365 days a year over their enlistment time. Time and time again, the heroism displayed by veterans goes unnoticed by those of us who enjoy the safety and security of our lives here in Gresham because of their sacrifice. It has been said that without our veterans, Americans would be living without their freedoms, the freedom of speech, freedom to vote, and freedom of religion, just to name a few. We would be living under another country's rule. Imagine if America was being ruled by Germany, Italy, China. We are the land of the free because of the brave. The debt that we owe the veterans can never be repaid, but our respect, our admiration, and our gratitude need to last forever. We stand for the American flag as a way to show respect to the veterans who serve this country. Veterans have given us freedom and security and have allowed us to become the greatest nation on the earth. And I saw this poem on the internet. Freedom is not free. It was the veteran, not the reporter, who gave us freedom of the press. It was the veteran, not the poet, who gave us the freedom of speech. It was the veteran, not the campus organizer, who gave us freedom to demonstrate. It was the veteran who salutes the flag, who served beneath the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag. If you love freedom, thank a veteran. So again, I'd like to say thank you to all the veterans in the Gresham area and just all the veterans as a whole. I appreciate your service. I appreciate all that you've done for us. And I say again, thank you.